Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with our Realistic series. Hmm. I'm, I, I, I couldn't possibly comment. I, I, I couldn't possibly. Let, let me try the hired help in here again and see if he's actually capable of doing anything at all. Probably not. He's going to come out here, but he's... Why are you turning around there? You're not even close to the edge of the field. This is... I... I don't... What are you doing? It's going to go all the way up there. Is he going to reverse back at all? No, no, no. He's not going to do that. He's just going to do this in the middle of the field. I also bet he's going to stop now and then turn around again. No, he's actually get no. Oh. <laughs> really? That's your F. <laughs> look, look. Seriously, that is the sum total of their efforts for spreading fertilizer. What? Yeah. Just no. Just no. What is wrong with you? This is. The, the, there's doing a bad job, and then there's doing a job that's so ridiculous that you make me want to hire a hitman and take you out permanently. It's okay. I'm calm. I'm collected. I'm reasonable. Maybe not entirely reasonable, but a little bit reasonable. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. There's, there's, there's no issues here. No problems here whatsoever. I've taken... All of the necessary medications to be calm and collected and, and, and not want to murder anyone. Not even the hired help. So let's try this again. I'm going to bring you over here. And I'm going to send you off down this way. And I'm hoping you will get down to the very, very far end of the field. Before you decide that it is just too much for you to cope with and you have to just give up and go home. Are you freaking kidding me right now i'm starting to think that it's this fertilizer spreader i'm starting to think that the fertilizer spreader despite the fact that it is a rather marvelous machine is just not one that the hired help is able to cope with in any way shape or form because if i go there as you're saying there's no fields like uh yeah no 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 there is a field there just because it's a width over that side you are allowed to come down here. You're allowed to shunt round. Let's go up this way. Let, let's try it again. Oh, it might, might be able to do it. I'm going to go up this way now. I think we need to find another fertilizer spreader. This one is clearly too much for them to be able to cope with. And they're going to just keep doing things that are going to make me want to scream in rage at them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find a better one. Right, what have we got in here? We've got these big trailed ones. I do like the trailed ones, though. It's, uh, that's the problem. I, I rather like these trailed ones. You right there, you're a 36 meter spread. Let's see what else we This one's 42 meters, and it goes up 10,000 liters. Alright, maybe we'll go with that. I mean, this one here is 9. This one here is 24. This one here is 42 meter spread. It can hold up to 1,600, but this one can hold 10,000 litres with a 42-metre spread. I think that is the bad boy that we need to buy. And this one here is 36. All right, we're, we're going to swap him over. But well, now he's actually doing his job properly. All right. Uh, while that one, I, I can't bear to watch it anymore. I'm just going to rage completely out of it. And let's bring you over here. Tip that lot into this greenhouse. Put in there, and yeah, that's the problem. If I, I have to have the engine running to be able to unload this one. So we can't just walk away and leave it because I'm burning fuel away, and that's probably not a good idea. Okay, I've got. Oh, that's methane. Gas station. Oh, yeah, there is a gas station down next to the um thing in Majiggy down there. So I could take the tractor down there. Now this tanker... Right, I don't have enough money to be able to go and get everything that I need to get. I do need to be able to get some fuel. 
I think this tanker takes everything, so we could load a bit of fuel into here. I'm not going to get 13,000 litres, I don't think, because I think this can cost too much. Um, but we could get a bit of fuel from the fuel station over there. And we could hopefully... Let's turn our beacons on. Uh, I'll be able to at least top the tractor up as well. Uh, top, topping the tractor up is quite an important thing for us to be able to go and do. So drive on up this way. And... Oh, that, that's fuel in there. Uh, I was thinking fuel in here. Uh, why I was look I was looking on that side. I wasn't actually looking at the fuel station side. So let's try looking at the fuel station side. Go in this way. So the other one, it was this this front one right here. Let's try there. And right, that's filling up my tractor at the moment. I'm just going to leave that one there a second. You are driving back down this side of the field, doing the little tiny bit that's there. You say you've completed your task. I very much doubt it. This tiny bit's up there. I, you know what? I, I, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just not even going to bother with those little tiny bits up there. They, they will just stay as they are. We've got 1,000 litres of fertiliser left, which possibly will be enough to do the other field. Not quite 1,000 litres. This one is definitely being taken over to the dealership. I am going to empty the fertilizer out. I'm going to sell this machine and I'm going to buy that Kubota one. Because quite frankly, I think that one looks amazing. And let me just go to you. So I've gone and topped me up with fuel. So then I'm going to bring you in here like this. And I'm going to start loading a bit of diesel in here. Now this is rather slow going. But the money is ticking down pretty quickly. I think we'll let it get down to about 10 grand and then we'll stop. Well, that one's emptying out. I'm going to bring the fertilizer in here and I'm going to empty this out there onto the ground. Then we can sell this one. Bring that one over there and I'll unhitch it there and run over this way. Right, we can get 27,000 euros for that one. I'm going to do the repaint and repair job as well. So I'll just do that for three grand and repair. Yes, and then sell 31,222. Okay, so that's done there. And then we can go back into here and have a look at our fertilizer spreaders. And so the one that we had was the Yan fertilizer spreader. Where's that one gone? Over here somewhere. Oh, there. Right, that was 36,000 for that one. Uh, it's this one here, the DSXWGO spread. It says 26,000 decals new or old or none. Let's have the new ones. Capacity is standard extra large right it doesn't change the appearance of the machine in any way it just has extra large cost an extra three grand for that and then we've got some color options we basically we can choose anything we want do it's far green i'm going to stick with the kubota or i'm going to stick with the original co um colors that we've got on this one this is twenty nine thousand, so i'm going to buy that it's less than what the other one was so we've got a nice replacement, and I'm hoping that that's going to work out fairly well for us. I'm just going to go back over here. I'm on 3,500 litres of fuel right there. Uh, let's get it to 4,000 litres, and then we will stop draining fuel out of the fuel station. Because I think that will be enough to keep our machines going for a little while at least. There we go. Right, so we've got about 4,000 litres. That was 8,500 euros for that. And I'm going to drive this one back up to the farm. And we'll deposit all of this fuel into the fuel tank that we've got up there. And then we can do... Actually, you know what? Let's not do that yet. Let's, let's just put this one over here on the side right there. And shut it off so we're not draining fuel continuously. And then I can go to you. And we'll get this one going in the field. We want to get this one started. And then while we let the hired help finish this job off, we can go and do a little bit more. Um, but I've only got like 900 litres here. 
So I'm going to buy one more bag. Go to that big bag and we'll go and buy our organic fertilizer. And we know that it's organic fertilizer because it's green. If it's, got, if it's green, it's, it's organic. Everybody knows that. That's just, that's just a thing. It's just a standard thing. Take you back over this way and get that little bit. There. Load that in. That, I'm hoping, is going to be enough to be able to go and do the field. So I'll take this over to the field now. Right, we had a little bit here that we went and spread already. So I'm going to sort of bring this one around this way and then try and get it lined up with the cardinal directions on the map, which is about there. And then press H until he finds a field. We just take it forward a little bit each time until he should eventually find a field. There, he's found a field. Right, excellent. And he is working over here. So he's got that little bit of field there. Now, it is going to be difficult for it to go all the way up to where it should in order to be able to turn round. But... Apparently, he's just going to drive right through the river in order to do this. Right? Well, I mean, points for trying. Points for trying. He's, he's a little bit more enthusiastic about his job than um, many of the other hired helps have been. How far around is he going to go? Is he going to reverse all the way up to the point where he needs to start? Dude's pretty good. I'll give him that. Like, where he's gone up to. You know, I, I think that we can give him points for effort on that one. De definitely points for effort right there. Look at that. that, that that's fantastic. I'm, I'm pleased with that. That's the kind of dedication to duty that we want. I like that. I, th that's a lot better. And yes, I know I was probably being a little bit unfair on the last one. Because it's largely down to the trailed nature of the fertilizer spreader. If I'd manually gone round the field twice, it would have been a lot better. But I didn't want to do that. I don't want to have to manually do everything. I, I want the hired help to be able to think for itself a little bit. And not just get to the end of a task. and what, what, Not just get sort of a quarter of the way into the task and then say, I can't do it anymore. It's just too much. I can't cope. I'm going home. And it doesn't help me, does it? It doesn't help me at all. Let's bring you up around here. And... Right, I now have... 4,000 litres of diesel going into there. Let's turn those beacons off for a second. And let's go and check on our dude in here. So it's Kubota DSXWGO spread fantastic little machine right there and he's doing a fantastic job with that fantastic little machine overall i'm very pleased with what's happening right here i don't know what the white going across the screen is doing to the video quality right now that's something that kind of thing is it, it can usually give you compression artifacts They're basically lots of little blocky effects all over the screen it's one of the worst things you can do for it and we've got a little tiny, tiny bit there that he missed. And then he's going to turn around and hopefully he's going to get all of that bit there. So it's, a, it's another little thin strip, but he, he seems to be doing just fine with it. I'm very pleased with this dude. He's getting a promotion. I'm going to let him do it again next year. That's his promotion. Now, that is empty. I've got to get this tanker out of this little bit here, which is not easy. I have complete faith in my ability to completely mess this up. But what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to reverse it all the way over to the water tanker. And we're going to take our vehicle, our tanker, that we've just had diesel in. And we're going to put water in it straight away. And then sensibly we're going to take that water over to the greenhouses. And we're going to use it in the greenhouses. Because that's going to give us extra nice tasting melons. I'm sure of it. That, that's how it works. Right. I'm not going to worry about that little tiny bit up there. It doesn't matter. And everything else is done. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done everything that we need to do before the end of the 
uh, work, work for, for the end of the year. The next thing that we need to do is harvesting. That's our very next task, is harvesting. And I'm going to take this over here. Now, our fertilizer is all over on this side of the farm. So I'm going to take the fertilizer spreader that we've got right here, and I'm going to take that over to this side of the farm as well. And I'm going to put that in the shed with the fertilizer and stuff. Bring you over this way, and you're going to go in shed down here, where we kept the other one. Only this one's a little bit small. Well, it's, it's not actually much less capacity, and it spreads it further. So overall, this spreader right here is, is, is pretty good. There. Right. Is that bit done? Tractor can stop there. Let me have a look in the greenhouses a second and just see what we've got. So we've got, that's the middle one, the, the watermelon one. The red lettuce one here is starting to empty down a little bit. 2,800 in storage and I got 186 in melons. The red lettuce, you get more in storage with those because they only do 500 liters per pallet, which is slightly frustrating. Um, Yeah, what I'd like to do is change them around just a little bit but I want to I need to have a look here did I it should be level enough so I should be able to do that if I can bring those out a little bit so move that one over production greenhouses uh, La Coronella it's that one I mean yeah it needs to Turn around that way. Uh, basically, I'll want to move it out about that far. Because that will still give me room to get round the edge. And then this one, I'll probably do something similar. Except that I might have to work on the bank a little bit. But we'll do that when we've run out of some stuff in the greenhouses. So we need to go and get some sleep. I got some sleep. And then I had a bit more sleep. So it's now June. Um, which is the beginning of the next month. So this greenhouse right here has got 89 litres of manure left in it. We do have 2,500 litres of vegetable seeds, which I'm not going to be able to take out of here if I do something with the manure. Um, <clears throat> if I want to move the greenhouse. Um, and this is going to be a slight problem. This one's got 32 litres here. So the one in the middle, we weren't going to touch. That, that one's fine. It could do with a few more pallets. Um, so what I was thinking of doing was buying in a little bit of manure on these two greenhouses so that we can use up a bit more of the veg because the vegetable seeds are expensive, aren't they? Um, oh, the vegetable seeds aren't actually that bad. They're 210 for 420 litres. So to fill them all the way up, it costs 2,000 which means that the greenhouses at the moment, the ones that we're going to want to shift, we've got, uh, what I say, it's 2,000 to fill them up. So we've got about 1,000 euros worth of vegetable seeds in there. Which does actually make me want to... So I'm going to buy in a bit. Of, rather than spending a load of time going off and getting stuff, I'm going to buy in a little bit of manure. So I can buy in a 1,000 litres there for 130. And then I'm going to do that again. And buy again. It'll allow me to double it up this time. So, uh, well, no, it'll allow me to buy whatever's there previously. If it's less than 1,000, it gives you 1,000. And then if it's more than that, so now it'll let me have 2,048 if I go to buy there. So I've spent about 500 euros, a little bit more on manure for that one. And then I'm going to do the same over here for melons on this one. And this one will give me 1,000 first time. 137 and then 148. So that's uh, just under 300. And then we get this is 300 all right so it's 600 euros for each of them so it's 1200 euros that i've just spent on buying some manure and then we've basically got um the we use up some more of the vegetable seeds that's all i really want to do is just use the vegetable seeds up and then i so that i can move these a little bit further apart that's all we want it's just gonna be easier to get in there with the trailers 
and unload these greenhouses. And that that's kind of like the, the aim here, is, is just be able to unload them a little tiny bit easier. Um, but I also need to go and do it because we, we've done change of season. I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten. I, I was completely remembering that. Um, so I'm going to need to shake my dice. I've got my list of things here. We've got 18 options. So I'm going to shake a D20. Uh, a 19 or a 20 will mean a re-roll. So I've shaken it and we've got this time a 4. Okay. Let me just find number 4 on the list. Uh... Oh dear. Right. Disease in the field. We haven't had a single good one yet, have we? The first one, we had to lose some crops. The second one, didn't I have to lose some money? I think so. And now I've got disease in the field. Cultivate one half of a random field that's planted with crops to represent the loss. Includes grass fields. Now, we have to pay for the cultivation to be done as well. Um, the This... <laughs> this is this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad because we've got that one. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to lose this field. I really, really don't want to lose that field. Twenty field twenty two is ready to harvest right now. That's our barley field. We could go up and start that harvest. So we've got. I'm going to have to number them from top to bottom and, and and left to right. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six fields. So I'm going to get a d6 out of my dice a minute. Um, let me find a d6. Okay. I've got a d6. This this, this is... Um, and I will do. I, right? I, I, I solemnly declare I never um, fix the results on any dice rolls. Uh, so we've got that one up there. We may end up having to <laughs> cultivate in half of that. And you could argue that, well, no, you shouldn't have to because it's harvest time. If you get, like, a really bad hailstorm or something like that across half your field, it will just smash half of it into the ground, and you ain't getting that back. You ain't picking it up, not properly. Um, so, yeah, it could be any one of these, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Most of all, I don't want to lose number six. That's the one that I most of all don't want to lose because that's our big money crop. The others are going to make money, but not as much as that one. That one's our biggest money one, and I've got a one. <laughs> right, so we can, we, before we can harvest our barley field up here, we've got to go and cultivate half of it away. It's a little bit unfortunate, but at least it was number one and not number six. That was, I think that's possibly... Because we're mostly focused on crops on this series, that's possibly one of the worst ones that we can get. Um, let me run this one round a minute, and our nice diesel-flavoured water, and we'll drop this into the greenhouses. And then uh, I need to get a cultivator on, and I need to go racing up there, and I need to try and get roughly half of the field. So I'm thinking... It's going to be difficult to get half the field, but I think if I go from the corner there up to that corner in a straight line, and then I'll cultivate out this side of it here, and then that bit there is what we can harvest. So it's unfortunate. We've lost we, we've lost a bit of um, crop right there. It was a freak hailstorm. Well, it said disease in the field. Okay, so there was a load of disease right at the end of formation of the um, barley grain, which caused it to not actually form properly. And um, so essentially what you're left with is a load of tiny, tiny withered grains that are completely and utterly useless. Um, and we can't do anything with them. I'm just going to leave that there. <coughs> um, I'm not sure what that did. There is actually diseases that do that. They, they cause the, the grain not to form properly. Um, and you, you, you're basically just left with things that are so small and withered that they are completely useless. You can't do anything with them. You, 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 usually the, you'd still combine them, um, but you wouldn't get any grain. So you might get a little bit of straw out of the fields, but most of the grain would fall through the sieves and, and be utterly useless. You, you're not doing anything with that. I, you, you just, you just not. But in this game, we can't do that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to drive over to the field. So we've got to go out onto the road and go round, and we will cultivate that half the field. So that's this season's 
random event, which, quite frankly, I think is pretty bad. I'd like a nice, good event to come up. It would be, it would be really good if we could get like a whole load of money or something come in. So it's June right now. We got June, July, and August. Um, the big crops that we're going to want to harvest are the sugar beet and the corn. And we don't start harvesting those until the autumn, so we get one more random event. We might, if we're really, really lucky, we might get a random event that allows us to, um, uh, to, to get a load of money or something like that, which means that we're not going to have to take out any kind of loan in order to get the equipment that we're going to want for doing our, um, our work. Right, now, what I'm going to do is we want to unfold this one, and I'm going to lower it in, and I'm going to drive across this field. I'm going to completely... We do, all of that work we've done and we've lost half of this crop. This is not how it's supposed to go. This is not how it's supposed to go. I know I haven't got um, the, uh, the, the... What do you call on? Um, destroy crops. Because I don't think it's a particularly accurate um, thing, to be honest. Right, where am I going with this? I actually want to correct that slightly and we'll go up there. I need to take a bigger slice of the fields. See? Mm, yeah, okay, I think that is actually about half of the field. Uh, I'm I, I'm reasonably happy that I'm I'm taking half of the field here. I well, I I say reasonably happy. I'm not overly thrilled with the idea of cultivating in my crop rather than harvesting it, but that is what the random event told us that we had to do, so that is what we are going to do. Like, I, 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 I will not cheat the system. There we go. Put that in there like that. And I did say before about, like, cheating the system and maybe keeping extra crops back. And most of you said, I did get a few responses from that one, and most of you were like, yeah, um, you, you should really only keep the crops that you are planning to use for animals and, and for other things. So that's what I will do. We, we will sell off some of the other crops. Let me just show you here a minute. We, we've got all the crops at the moment. Um, soybeans, sunflowers, corn, potatoes, barley. The wheat, though... Oh, the wheat is uh, for feeding the chickens. Sorghum, also, we'll dump that in for the chickens. I don't think we'll bother selling that because it doesn't look like it's worth very much. I'm not going to grow it again after that. So we'll use that. We'll feed that into the chickens. Uh, canola right there. To be honest, I'm not sure what we'll do with the canola. Because um, I can't remember what goes in for the pig thing. Sunflowers and corn are needed for the pig food master, not canola and not soybeans. So we don't actually have any use. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.